Good morning. Good morning. Feel me, friends, uniformed officers, and fire service members, and distinguished guests. On behalf of State Fire Marshal John Dabb, welcome to the Department of Fire Services, Stowe Campus. My name is Dennis Ball. I'm the De Deputy Director of Training here at the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. And today I have the absolute privilege and honor of being the Master of Ceremonies for today's graduation of Career Recruit Class 323. For those that are unable to attend on today's event, this event will be recorded. Uh, it will be available in a few hours later this afternoon on the Department of Fire Services website. And you'll get a link to uh, YouTube. Um, I'd like to thank Christina Mitchell sitting right here in the corner. And uh, she's going to make that possible for us. So thank you, Christina. At this time, I'd ask you to join me in welcoming our presiding officer for today's ceremony, State Fire Marshal John Davin, accompanied by the official party. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask you to please welcome the fire chiefs of our graduates. Good morning, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to rise for the entrance of Class 323 and the posting of our national colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, class 323 was led in by Pipe by Joe Mazzola, representing the Worcester Fire Brigade Pipes and Drums. Thank you, Joe. I'd like to invite uh, dispatcher Emily Fontaine of the Westbauer Fire Department uh, to join us, and she'll present the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there and oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Thank you, Ms. Fontaine. I'd ask you to remain standing for an invocation delivered by Chaplain Martino. And so we pray. Almighty God, as we humbly stand before you this day with praise and gratitude for the many gifts that you have bestowed on us, we come together today to honor these fine young women and men who have trained and prepared to be examples for their peers and for all of us to follow. These wonderful individuals have set goals for themselves and have achieved them after many hours of sacrifice and hard work. Their tireless efforts have brought them to this point in their careers where their training will benefit those in the communities whom they will serve as they respond to them in their time of need and of crisis. Firefighters are a special group of individuals who go above and beyond to help those in need in their communities, those who have lost someone or something that is dear to them. We are all blessed to know them. We are all blessed to have them and others like them in our midst. Thank you, Lord, for sharing them with us and with the cities and the towns of our great Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And to this we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you, I'm going to ask everyone to be seated and get yourself comfortable. So the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy trains more than 13,000 firefighters at every level, from the recruit all the way up to chief officer. We operate within the Department of Fire Services, which is a statewide agency that also provides hazmat responses, incident support, fire investigation, code development, enforcement, and much, much more. At the Academy and all across operational div divisions, the Department of Fire Services works with local fire departments, regulated industries, and the general public to keep us safe. The person entrusted to lead this vital public agency is our State Fire Marshal, John Davidson. <laughs> Representing 
the Massachusetts Corps of Fire Chaplains is Chaplain Richard Martino, Northborough Fire. Representing the Massachusetts Fire Training Council, which is our governing body, Springfield Fire Captain Drew Pamonte. <laughs> Assistant Recruit Program Coordinator, Mr. Michael Gelinas, Lieutenant Fitchburg Fire. <laughs> Assistant Recruit Program Coordinator, Mr. Dennis Lavasa. Deputy Chief, Salem Fire, retired. So our academy instructors, as well as the support staff, comprises, is comprised of entirely active duty and retired firefighters that are truly, truly fire professionals. These men and women have chosen to share their knowledge with the next generation. There is absolutely zero substitute and the many decades of fire ground uh, experience that they bring forth to this program. Please join me as I rec recognize our instructors and support staff of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. Thank you, guys. So every, every, every organization has members who are less visible, but are still vital to our the mission's success. I'd like to recognize our program assistant, Kerry Marcott, and our office support specialist, uh, Ashley Payette, and the entire registration crew. Their work behind the scenes makes it possible for our instructors, program coordinators, and uh, the offices to give their full, full attention and focus to our recruits. So thank you so much. And finally, and actually it's not finally, I'd like to ask any current or former members of our military and or law enforcement to please stand up for a moment. Thank you, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Tough job on all ends. So the philosophy of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy can be summed up in two sentences. Amateurs train until we get it right. Professionals train until we can't get it wrong. All of our staff is committed to these words and they're embodied throughout their actions every day. So after 10 long weeks, I'm asking each of the recruits and graduates to adopt this philosophy. Today, under the guidance and supervision of their instructors, with the support of their families, friends, as well as your individual hard work, you are prepared to enter a dangerous, demanding, and deeply rewarding profession. You have built the physical, the mental, and technical skills necessary to serve your communities as firefighters. The absolute greatest job in the world, so thank you. So at this time, it's my absolute pr privilege to introduce our State Fire Marshal John Davin for a few remarks. Thank you, Mr. Ball. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, chiefs, and our esteemed graduates. Today we gather to celebrate this pivotal moment as these recruits embark on a career in the fire service. Class 323. Let me be the first to welcome you to the best job in the world. Although I'm proud to serve as your state fire marshal today, 26 years ago, I knew very little about firefighting when I walked through those very same doors. But I credit this institution for providing me countless opportunities to develop my skills, expand my knowledge, and to challenge myself. I wholeheartedly believe in this system and I'm committed to ensuring that Massachusetts firefighters have access to the highest quality training, state-of-the-art equipment, and exceptional instructors so you can best serve the citizens of the Commonwealth. Together, we will protect our communities through professionalism, dedication, integrity, and training. 
The past 10 weeks have given you a very basic understanding of the tactics and strategies you will need to keep yourself, your fellow firefighters, and your community safe. But your learning is not coming to an end. Rather, it's just beginning. You must continue to train throughout your entire career. Come back to the academy again and again. Take classes, ask questions, go to conferences, read, inquire about what other departments are doing. You owe it to yourself, your department, and your community to be the best firefighter possible. Although we never know what our next call will be, I can assure you that no two days will ever be the same. Gone are the days that firefighters just battle fires. This is an all hazards occupation that will challenge you to think on your feet and solve real world problems under the most difficult circumstances. In one shift, you may respond to everything from an alarm activation, a medical emergency, a motor vehicle accident, or a chemical spill. You'll conduct fire drills, install car seats, check smoke alarms, and give station tours to aspiring firefighters. I hope you proudly wear the Maltese cross on your shoulder, as it is known around the world as a symbol of protection and a badge of honor. Your presence alone will offer hope to strangers on their worst day and bring calm in the midst of chaos. Your community has placed an enormous amount of trust in you. Honor that trust and never ever do anything to jeopardize it. There's no doubt that this is a difficult job, both physically and emotionally. I implore you to stay in shape. Continue your physical training. A fit body will serve you well when you need it the most. Equally as important, take care of yourself mentally. Get away from the job and do things that you enjoy. Spend time with your family. Take a vacation. The job will be here when you get back. Firefighting is not for the faint of heart, but it is deeply rewarding, honorable, and exhilarating. You'll never ever be bored or lonely. You'll work as a team, you'll live as a family, and you'll forge friendships that will last a lifetime. Thank you, Career Recruit Class 323, for answering the call to serve. On behalf of the Massachusetts Department of Fire Services and the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you, and I hope you have a safe and rewarding career. Congratulations. So Fire Academy Director Eric Littman is regretfully is unable to attend today's graduation. However, he has asked me uh, to convey a few words on his behalf, if you could indulge me. So officially, the certificate you are about to receive acknowledges your successful completion of basic training. Basic, basic training. But in truth, it reflects much more than that. It reflects your responsibility and your willingness to take on the responsibility to take on to, to protect your community, your brothers and sisters, yourself, and more importantly, your loved ones. It reflects the determination to make yourself better today than you were yesterday, every day. Commit, committing to this takes you on to the road to professionalism. And the only way to get there foundationally, and I spoke to this a little bit this morning, is to learn, to train, and excel in every opportunity, job opportunity, that is thrown your way. From the smallest tabletop exercise to the most complex real world situations. You will find yourself, and these gentlemen around you and women will attest to this, you will find yourself one day in a very dangerous environment. Your life and others may hang in the balance. That is not the time that is not the time to say, I wish I paid attention and became more proficient in my job or any particular skills. Wives, husbands, parents, kids, loved ones, ask your firefighter every day, what did you learn today? Because the answer 
to the question will make you a firefighter and all of us safer. Recruits, seize all the opportunities, become professional. The responsibility is absolutely real. So on behalf of Director Will, um, Littman, many successes throughout your career. So thank you so much. So at this time, I would invite uh, Captain uh, Pamonte to the podium to present the Richard N. Bangs Outstanding Recruit Award on behalf of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council. Yep. Let me grab this for a second. Congratulations to Class 323. Well done. Richard N. Bangs was a longtime chairman of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council. He was and remains to this day a passionate advocate for firefighter training, safety, and development. Upon his retirement, the council voted to name the Outstanding Student Award in his honor. The Career Recruit Training Curriculum is designed to train and evaluate students in the basic skills of the firefighting profession. This course is demanding both physically and academically. Every recruit who completes it is worthy of recognition for their accomplishments. But even by these high standards, there is one recruit in each class who has truly excelled based upon total academic and practical skills, testing, and evaluations across all fields of study and execution. This recruit is named as the Outstanding Student. At this time, I would like to invite Chief Dante Suarez of the Fitchburg Fire Department to join us on stage, please. I'm pleased to present the Richard N. Bangs Award to the Outstanding Student of Class 323, recruit number 74, Ian Wilder of the Fitchburg Fire Department. Any family members want to take a couple photographs? Yes, yes, no? Yes? All right, come on now. You don't have to run, relax. I don't want any slip and falls here. You want to take a picture or you want to be in the Yeah, All right, yeah, go ahead, let's go. Any uh, young kids here to fig figure this out? <laughs> All right. Congratulations. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. Big deal. Congratulations. So at this time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Lavasa and Mr. DeLions to call the roll of today's graduates. Family and friends, please approach for pictures. You see where Christina's sitting right there? There's a yellow line. Come up to the yellow line and take as many photos as you, as you wish, okay? We good with that? Don't be shy. Thank you. Good morning. Accountability in the fire service is paramount for several different reasons. Number one, at the scene of any emergency, every chief fire officer and every company officer needs to know where his people are at all times. When we first strap on a badge and wear this uniform, we should all know that we are accountable for every single person in our community that depends on us. We have to be held to a higher standard than everybody else for what we're trained to do, what we're willing to do, and what we have to do on a daily basis. Here at the Massachusetts Fire Academy, accountability is important. 
So when your recruits first came in here day one, they were assigned a number and a tag. That's who they became. They took that tag with them wherever they went, whether it was the classroom, the lunchroom, the bathroom, or any of the many training stations out in the middle of that drill yard. We needed to know where everybody was at all times. So today, when your recruit gets his certificate, he's gonna walk across the stage, he's gonna tag up on that red board to my left for the last time as a member of class 323. From the Andover Fire Department, Chief Kyle Murphy. To graduating firefighter Robert Harnez. to graduating firefighter Sarah Samenza. From the Attleboro Fire Department, Assistant Chief John Gannett. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Jacob Blackwell. to graduating firefighter Jeffrey Capraro. to graduating firefighter Timothy Horton. Chief Gannett and father of the graduate, retired District Chief Thomas Jubert from the Attleboro Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Shane Jubert.
to graduating firefighter Jonathan Melanson. From the Belmont Fire Department, Chief David DiStefano. To graduating firefighter Brendan Shea. From the Devons Fire Department, Chief Timothy Kelly. And friend of the graduate, Lieutenant Corey Farah from the Devons Fire Department. To graduating firefighter Nicholas Satoris. From the Dudley Fire Department, Chief Dean Kochanowski. <laughs> to graduating firefighter John Murphy. From the Fitchburg Fire Department, Chief Dante Suarez. And brother of the graduate, Robert, firefighter Robert Nealon. To graduating firefighter, Benjamin Nealon. Chief Suarez and cousin of the graduate, retired Chief Kevin Nord from the Duxbury Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Ian Wilder.
sir. From the Maine Fire Department, Chief Angela Wallace. And father of the graduate, retired Chief Joseph Landry from the Stowe Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Timothy Landry. From the Methuen Fire Department, Chief Tim Sheehy. And father of the graduate, retired Sergeant Kevin Burke with the Massachusetts State Police. To graduating firefighter Joseph Burke. to graduating firefighter Cody McGinnis. to graduating firefighter Colin West. From the Norfolk Fire Department, Chief Aaron Kinney. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Samuel Brady. Chief Kenny and Captain Kate Howarth from the Norwalk Fire Department. Norfolk Fire Department. To graduating firefighter Ian Marlin.
from the North Andover Fire Department, Chief John Weir. And father of the graduate, Firefighter Sean Dufresne from the North Andover Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Jonathan Dufresne. from the Northboro Fire Department, Chief David Parenti. <laughs> to graduating firefighter, Edward Coulter. From the Orleans Fire Department, Chief Jeff Deering. And father of the graduate, Firefighter Brandon Farrow from the Harwich Fire Department. To graduating Firefighter Jacob Farrow. to graduating firefighter Kenyon Keyes. <laughs> Chief Deering and father of the graduate Captain Dan Kimball from the Brewster Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Jessica Kimball. Chief Deering, and wife of the graduate, Daniela Meinhardt Donahoe from the United States Coast Guard. <laughs> to graduating firefighter, Aaron Meinhardt Donahoe.
graduating firefighter Max Nichols. From the Revere Fire Department, Chief Christopher Bright. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Michael Banks. to graduating firefighter Anthony D'Ambrosio. Chief Bright and brother of the graduate, Lieutenant Brian Hartman from the Revere Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter, Nicholas Hartman. Chief Bright and mentor of the graduate, Lieutenant Nicholas Russo from the Revere Fire Department. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Garrett McMahon. to graduating firefighter Anthony Sandoval. From the Salem Fire Department, Chief Allen Dion. And father of the graduate, Captain Kevin Keown from the Salem Fire Department. To graduating firefighter, Wesley Keown.
from the Shrewsbury Fire Department, Chief Seth Colby. And retired Chief Jim Bona from the Shrewsbury Fire Department. To graduating firefighter Stephen Ebers. From the Tewksbury Fire Department, Deputy Chief Paul Gadadaro. <laughs> to graduating firefighter Kyle Maga. And last, but certainly not least, from the Westboro Fire Department, Chief Patrick Purcell. <laughs> to graduating firefighter, Julia Durning. Ladies and gentlemen, Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, class 323. Congratulations, folks. Good. So each class is assigned a class spokesperson to represent the recruit class. This recruit has been selected by the assistant program coordinators and is responsible for the class leadership, all communications between the recruits and the academy staff. It's now time for me to call upon Spokesperson for Class two, uh, 323, formerly Recruit 70, Sarah Zimanza of Indo. All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, I'll keep this pretty short and sweet. It is a nice Friday before a long weekend, so we got places to be. But um, I'll start on behalf of Class 323. Just want to thank the MFA staff, uh, from the director to the instructors to the coordinators to the unsung heroes of the kitchen staff. Um, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And with, for the instructors specifically, thank you for teaching us proper techniques for gaining fundamental skills for pushing us to become better firefighters. The knowledge that we've gained over the past 10 weeks will stay with us for the rest of our careers. 
As for the family and friends, thank you. These, this has been a long 10 weeks, not just for us, but probably for you as well, dealing with all of us. Um, it don't, it's only been 10 weeks here, but for some of us, it's been years in the making to get to this point. So thank you for your support. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated. And as for class 323, we did it. Congratulations. <laughs> You know, spending eight hours a day, five days a week, 10 weeks together, you'd think we'd want to kill each other. And at times we definitely did, but we truly bonded as a class. We went from a group of strangers from all over the state to brothers and sisters. And we had fun at times when we needed to have fun. We worked hard when jobs needed to be done and we helped each other out through tough times. I know our paths will cross at some point, whether it's mutual aid calls or trainings or playing around to golf or grabbing a beer at the bees. <laughs> this isn't the last time we'll be seeing each other. So as we go back to our respective departments, I just wish everyone a long, healthy career and stay safe. Thank you. So history and tradition are the core values within the fire service. Among those traditions here at the fire academy is a class plaque. Each class presents the plaque to the instructors to be displayed on campus and it represents their spirit and it marks their efforts. It serves as a physical reminder throughout the ages and it acts as inspiration for generations to come. So I'm going to ask, we invite um, Sarah Samanza uh, back up uh, to present the plaque to the instructors. Yeah. So I'm going to ask Michael Banks and Ann Wilder to come up, please. I'm going to invite the instructors up, up front, please, to accept the plaque. Anybody want to take any photographs? Welcome up. Yes, yes, no. Thank you so much for your work. Thank you so, so much for your, uh, your generosity. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And I ask everyone to please stand for benediction by Chaplain Martino. And so, Lord, as we come to the close of this celebration, we remember your goodness and your kindness. We ask your protection on our sisters and brothers in this time of crisis in our troubled world. Help us to seek the peace that you have planned for us. Help us to better understand our neighbors so that we in turn can better understand ourselves. These fine men and women have shown their compassion and their love for their fellow human beings by choosing this very honorable profession. And we thank you for placing them in our midst. May you bestow your choicest blessings upon them and their families as they set their course to serve and protect our cities and towns. And so we beg you, almighty God, to bless all who serve as protectors of life and property. Bless our towns, bless our cities, bless our commonwealth, and God, bless America. And to this we say, amen. amen.
So ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremonies. On behalf of State Fire Marshal John Davin and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, I'd like to thank you for joining us today on this very, very special occasion. We wish each class member of 323 a long, healthy, and rewarding career. So I ask you to please remain standing for the departure of the official party, followed by the Chiefs of the Department, and finally Piper Mazzola will lead out Class 323. Class 323, come to attention. <laughs>